In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool Canva animation and design in a few minutes where we have this split screen with vanilla and strawberry on both sides, but the cone still acts as one element in the center. So it gives this really cool illusion. I split up the tutorial into multiple parts. First, we have the creation of the slide and secondly, we have the animation part. And we're starting from a blank canvas. First, we want to look for the design elements. So let's go to the elements tab and type in ice cream. Go to photos, see all. And I kind of like this effect with the loose ice cream, but then we also need a cone. So let's see if we can find a cone. You can always narrow it down to cone. And this will give us some empty cones, which will give a cool effect. Let's see if we find one that we like. Let's click the cone in this case and see if the magic recommendations give us any better options. I think this one here looks perfect for the design that we want. So we're going to place it on the screen, drag it a little bit down. And now let's go back and type in just ice cream. We're going to select this vanilla ice cream and then place it on top. We can close this tab and now let's adjust it so that it nicely matches with the cone. There we go. This looks quite good. Let's hold control shift to create a copy. And now we're going to edit. We're going to the adjust tab and let's change if we scroll down the color edit. So here we can change the color a little bit. So if we drag it more towards the pink side, we get a strawberry effect. You can also go for something green if you want pistachio or any other color that you like. I'm going for a pink color. Let's do it like this. And then maybe increase the saturation a bit. You can play around with the other settings if you want more or less warmth in your colors and designs or you want to increase or decrease the brightness. I'm going to leave the settings as they were and just change the color setting. Then drag it on top of the previous image. Make sure they align perfectly. And now we're going to drag the crop mark to halfway the cone. We're going to select the vanilla ice cream and do the same from the other side. This way the shadow nicely blends in. Let's maybe adjust the setting a bit more. Let's make it a bit darker that the contrast is good enough. There we go. Maybe the tint a bit more towards the red side and also add some warmth. Increase the temperature of the picture a bit and decrease the highlights and this gives us a nice contrast. Close the color tab, and now we're going to add a rectangle. So press, press R to add a rectangle on the screen, and then drag it to about halfway the slide. Position, send to back, and this we want to give a different color. So we're going to look for a nice red tone. Let's maybe type pink, and then see if we find a nice pink tone. It can be a warm pink, but I think this one looks nice on the design. Let's change the background color of the original slide. And here, let's look for something yellow. See if we can find a nice yellow font. I think this is not bad. We can customize it, so close it. Click on the color again. Let's close this, click on the color wheel, and then drag it a bit more towards the warmer side. There we go. I think that looks good for the vanilla ice cream. Now we want to add some design elements. So we have strawberry and vanilla. So go to elements again, and here type in strawberry. Select the strawberry and put it on the screen. Maybe make it a bit smaller and let's take two different ones. So they're different in shape and size. These ones look quite similar. So I'm going to look for a third one, a smaller one. This one is a different shape. So I'm going to match these up, nicely distribute them on the slide, rotate them a bit, give them different shapes and sizes. You can always scale them up or down and flip horizontal or flip vertically to create the illusion that we have multiple strawberries on the screen. Let's flip this one as well. Rotate, make it larger, put this one a bit off the screen. Let's maybe increase the one in the center here, make this one smaller. It's always playing around a little bit and see what gives the most satisfying fill of your slide. I think this looks quite good. We're going to select one, go to edit and now go to blur, select whole image and increase the intensity to, we're going to do 75. Go back, click on the copy style element, and then paste it on the different pictures. Repeat that step, so always click that copy style and paste it on the other image. This puts all these strawberries in a blur image, which looks quite nice. Now we're going to the elements tab again and look for vanilla. Go to photos, and this will give us quite a few nice pictures of vanilla. So we're going to Put some on the slide let's take a few different ones and also here rotate copy and flip 
change them in size. You can put them, overlap them a bit. That doesn't really matter until you find the composition that you're happy with. Maybe a small one here up top. Let's rotate it entirely and maybe flip. That will be better. There we go. We're going to select the image again, the blurred one, copy style, and paste that same effect on the vanilla strokes. This gives some depth to the slide and that's the effect that we want to create with the focus on the ice cream. Go to position and now of course we want to select all the strawberries and vanilla shapes and drag them below the ice cream, maybe below the cone. That way you can also put some strawberries behind maybe if you like. So really depends on the composition that you want to, to achieve. I think this looks quite good, gives some depth to the slide. And now that brings us to the final step, which is the animation part. And for that, we're going to first group the three parts. So two ice creams and a cone. We're going to group those together because they act as one. Animate. And we want this to rise. We can slow down the speed. Either a rise animation or a baseline animation, I think in this case will look, will look good. Let's go for a baseline. And then select the loose elements. You can hold the shift key to select multiple elements at once. And here we can... I think this tectonic looks quite good. Baseline's a bit weird. Blur could work. A pop effect, it's a bit in your face. I think this pan will give everything a rise. I think the tectonic and the rise combination are quite good. So I'm going for the tectonic. Reduce the speed a bit. There we go. Let's duplicate the page. I'm going to remove some of the elements also here as well. And now let's preview what we have. And that gives us quite a nice animation that as soon as you click, you get the elements and the ice cream in the shape. It sort of creates this split image effect on your slide, while the cone is the one element that overlaps. And it's a really cool effect, I think. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.